Hello everyone, welcome back to Force of Nature. We are here in episode three and I completed the first battle request. Uh, you have to fight enough goblins and get enough copper coins and gold to complete that. So that one's all done. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our blast furnace and smelt down iron ingots. First off, you have to be close to these things to actually take stuff from them, FYI. Let's, um, let's make a little bit more coal. Oops, we're out of logs. Never mind, we're not gonna make more coal. Okay, back to B, our blast furnace here. I got us enough sand for it too, so we can go ahead and get that put in. Just kind of set things right here along a nice line, so to speak. And while it's building that, we're gonna go grab some more logs here. One thing you may have noticed is that I am basically just continuing through the night. I'm not stopping to sleep or hide anywhere, anything like that. And that's because you don't actually need to sleep. It helps to regenerate health and stamina, but it's really not an absolute necessity. You can kind of just poke around and do some quiet things close to your base camp at night, and you'll be fine. And the reason that I'm not really worried about anything is that at this initial base camp area, this is a safe location. You really don't have to worry about things coming to you since you have to actually fight through the underbrush to get to anything else. So you can kind of roam around to an extent without worrying too much. And wow, this tree is uh, taking a while to come down here. There we go. I was starting to think that thing wasn't gonna come down. Boy, my stamina's dropping. All right, so our blast furnace is complete. Let's scurry back over here. Select that, recipes, iron ingots. Yay! Oh look, we need tools that we don't have. Melting pot. Now for that, we're gonna go back to our bonfire and we're going to make a melting pot, except that we need clay. So this kind of leads back to what I was telling you about gathering some extra resources, picking things up when you can because you're always going to need it. Um, so it's never a bad idea. While something is building, go do a little bit of resource gathering. Chop down a couple of trees, take your pick and mine some stones, take your digging stick and go dig up some sand or some clay or soil, what have you, because you're going to need it. Um, you can always start on some other simple crafting, say maybe getting a, a few ropes started. Oops, wrong one. Um, just little things like that. The best idea for this really is that all of your crafting stations and options should be kind of permanently in motion. They should always be making something because you're going to need these things. And it's helpful if you have a supply on hand. Now the other thing here, we have some strawberry seeds and some wheat seeds. Those are great. We don't really care about those right now. What we care about is the sunflower seeds. We're gonna drop those over there. Those will help to regenerate your stamina. Not by a lot, but every little bit helps. So they're not a bad thing to have on hand. Now let's see here. We're doing pretty good on our ores. So we're gonna select our bucket and get that going. Now, let's take a look at what else our bonfire can do. We can make a jug. We need more clay for that, but that's still it. So, you know what, that's not horrible though. Let's actually go and get a couple more things of clay and get a jug started because we're gonna need that 
down the road. So we might as well have it ready now. Now, one thing that you may have noticed is that we're going to need a place to actually keep all of the things that we're making. Yeah, you're 100% right. And we are going to get to that. It's just going to take a little while. So, let's see here. Oh, look. We're all done. It crafted, it smelted an iron ingot that completed that quest. Now let's go see what we need to do to get to the next level. Ah, oh, we need three more copper coins. Guess what that means. We are going back into the deep, scary forest. It's not really that scary. Let's, let's pick a different path this time, though. Um... I prefer to have a few different ways to get in and out of the, I guess, goblin infested sections of the island is probably a good way to put it. That way you have some options depending on where you're at if you find yourself in an unpleasant situation and need to quickly return to your base camp. And it's a good idea to make it a little bit of a winding path, just so that if anything's chasing you, oh look, goblins right away, they'll have to work a little bit harder at it. And we've got one, two, three, four, oh my goodness, we have a whole bunch. Now, you'll notice here, once I get close enough to get the attention of one of them, I'm immediately backing away. That's because I really only want to fight one at a time. So your best option is to draw them out, which doesn't always work. Ah, we're going to have to take on three. Fingers crossed. We're not doing well. Oh, we're not doing well at all. Look at that health go down. All right. There we go, though. We should have enough. We're going to go ahead and go into our inventory and our characteristics and see if we can get the next level right now. Yep, we can. The benefit to doing that is that as with a lot of games, when you level up, it automatically restores all of your health and stamina. So that's very, very helpful right about now. Let's go get him. Just because we're already over here, we'll just go and get a couple of others real quick. Here's some more iron right there. You'd have to, of course, clean out all the goblins before you could do any mining in safety. But as you can see, we're making pretty good progress towards doing exactly that. And there's a chicken. We're going we're gonna to care about him later. Let's put it like that. We're going to care deeply about that little chicken later. There we go. I'm being overly ambitious, but you know, why not? Why not, right? There's another one over there, and there's one over here. Let's just grab him and call it a day. You could wander around killing goblins for, oh boy, quite a while. So, at some point, you do have to say, all right, time to head home. You, know, you don't want to be totally trapped in the middle of nowhere with dwindling health, surrounded by goblins. That's just not a good thing. Now we have to figure out, oh yes, it was over here. Like, now I have to figure out where home is. That's the other thing that you do have to take into consideration. It can be difficult to find your way home, depending on how far away you go. So, always be kind of careful with that. Ah, look at that. We made it home. We are one level stronger. Let's take a look at our new quests. We can create an anvil. And we can build a hut of branches. So, we don't really need the bonfire for anything else right now. So, we're just going to leave the jug there. It can basically sit and it'll be fine. And I will go ahead and clean out the iron ingots. Those I will take. Now, 
let's once more go into our build menu, our constructions, our anvil, our craft table. Let's see, we need more logs. We need planks and nails. Our hut of branches here. We need logs, rope, and palm leaves. And then a small chest. So we are about to have some storage. All right. So the first thing that we're going to need is logs. So we will go chop those down. I'm going to leave the coconut and banana trees over there alone for now, the palm trees. And I'm going to focus on these other trees that really have nothing to offer but logs. And just run through, gather all of your resources or gather enough to start one construction. And then while one thing is constructing, you can go and continue gathering resources for the next thing. That way, you kind of always have something going. You have something building. Let's see here, I think that that was all that we needed for, yes, for our anvil. So we're going to select that. We'll put that right there. While that's building, let's see what we needed for everything else. We needed a hut of branches which is more logs, rope, palm leaves. Oops, why am I clicking select? We can't do that yet. Silly me. We're going to go into craft. Oh, look. We can craft planks, wooden tongs, juice, a loincloth, and a cloak. Isn't that nice? We'd have to have pelts to do that, which we don't have. And we're not going to have anytime soon. Let's just be brutally honest about that. Now, let's go get some more palm leaves here because we're going to need a lot more rope. And in addition to the rope, we're also going to need just plain palm leaves. Now, I know that this resource gathering does tend to get very boring very quickly. So I'm going to run around and gather up all the resources we need to make everything else. And then I will see you guys once I have that all assembled and we're ready to get started again. All right, everyone. So we've got enough resources gathered to go ahead and finish off our few little constructions here. So we're gonna start with the hut of branches. That needs a nice big blueprint, as you can see here. Put that right there. Let that build. Now, while that's building, let's go grab our crafting table. Select that. And you're going to notice something interesting here. You can't just build it anywhere. Well, now that's kind of frustrating, right? Well, yes, but it's going to go inside our hut of branches. So we'll go ahead and grab the rest of the nails from that. That's okay. We can let that go. Not a problem. Let's take a look at what else we need. We're going to need that small chest, which requires ingots. So, did do some additional mining. Oops, we need coal. Good thing we have our nice little coal smoker here. Let's fire this bad boy up. And then we're going to go grab that jug and get it started on making some more glowing embers because we're going to need those really soon. This is why I say that it's a very good thing to have multiple items in process at the same time and to keep your crafting stations pretty busy because you're going to run out of things faster than you might initially think. Now, a few quick building tips while we're waiting for this to finish. You'll see that I chose this little spot over here kind of away from some of my resources, like this nice plot of soil, this other nice plot of clay, uh, some more soil here. I don't know if it would actually give you clay if you tried to get anything here. Let's, let's find out what it gives you in these little mixed areas. Well, you know what? It doesn't look like it actually gives you anything. That makes sense. You have to be in a solidly 
solid resource area. And the reason that I didn't build in any of those or closer to any of those is that I don't want to cover them up. So you want to keep in mind that you're going to want to be able to continually get to this. You're going to need a lot of these resources. So by building over here, all of our little constructions, this is very much out of the way. We're not going to have to worry about really running out of space, which is good because we don't want to have to worry about running out of space. Now, you just kind of keep an eye on everything here. Grab things up as needed. Get the next thing in line going, so to speak. And that needed, yeah, we don't have any more ingots, so that's going to have to wait. Our crafting table is in motion. We're doing very well. Let's take a look at your standard crafting. Let's go ahead and make some more planks because we're down to just the four. So we should have a few more of those going. And that is, again, just kind of planning in advance, knowing that you're going to need more of these construction resources as you make additional items. Now we're going to go ahead and wrap up this third episode here in just a couple of minutes. I just want to finish out the last quest here, finishing that craft table. Presto, look at that. We've got it. All right, so you just walk in like that, click your craft table, and now you have even more resources. All right, so we're going to go ahead and end things here. When we come back for our last episode, we're going to talk about using a few of the other items here. And I'm going to do a little bit of off-camera work just to get us a little bit further ahead because I want to leave you guys with a look at what you will be able to do in the game once you clear a few more of these levels and make a little bit more progress. Kind of entice you in a little bit more. But I hope that you're enjoying it, and I will see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.